All right, guys, this is, as I promised, 3B. Now, the reason I'm highlighting it is because there's a really great skill for you to learn to develop as we have a look at this question. I've asked William to put his working on the board because he was the one who approached me with this question. And trying to work out what is going on here, because this solution disagrees with the one in the back of the book, uh, it actually says, correct me if I'm wrong, Will. Uh, I think it says this. Is that right? Yep. Working out what has gone wrong is a more important skill, believe it or not, than getting it right first time. Okay? Real mathematicians aren't people who just like get things effortlessly correct. Actually, real mathematicians spend 90% of the time beating their head against the wall because they're like, it doesn't make sense. What have I done wrong? Okay? That's the clue that they know they're on the right track because something is difficult. I want to flex your muscles for looking at working and trying to find out what is it that has gone wrong because this happens to all of us, uh, Mrs. Lees and I included, so you have to be able to be able to find where this is. So let's walk through it together, okay? Do keep in mind, you may not have approached the question the way that Will has. There is actually another way to do this that I will show you, I will show you later on, okay? But you may have approached it this way. Let's try and dissect it. This is the original question. Integrate this guy with respect to x. Okay? Now I want you to follow with me the line of argument that Will has taken to get toward a solution. He's done this. He's put two thirds out the front. That's fine because he's multiplying by a constant. You can multiply or divide by any constant you like. Why has he chosen two thirds? Why that number? Have a look at what he has done, particularly here. What makes that line better or easier to work with from Will's point of view? It's easier to say that again, Russell. It's easier to find the primitive. So we have a look at this guy, right? I think we can all agree we know how to find the primitive of this. That's no problem. Okay? Some of you may well be at the point where you can find the primitive of this and just, just look at it and see what it is. But maybe you're not. So Will has transformed it a little bit. Do you recognize the form that this is in? This is in the form f dash on f, right? So I'm okay with that. Thumbs up. He's multiplied by the right thing. You can see if I multiplied it back in, I would return to the original line. So he's done it correctly, at least with his you know, trajectory in mind. So then he gets to the next line. What's he done? This 2 thirds just hangs out the front because it's a constant. That's fine. <clears throat> he knows that the integral of f dash on f is equal to, have a look at what he's done, log of what? Log of f. Right? That's the way reverse chain rule works for logs. So he's correctly done that. That looks good. What about the half? Has he integrated that successfully? Looks OK, right? And he dutifully puts on the plus C because this is an indefinite integral. So everything so far, especially the way that I've said it, sounds fine, right? No holes in the logic, no holes in the arithmetic. So why does the answer disagree? And this is a situation a few of you have come to. You're like, my answer is not the same as the textbooks, okay? The root reason why this is, is because in maths there are many ways, many paths to get to the same thing. And sometimes if you take a different path, you may end up at the same answer, but it may look different. And that is exactly the case here. These two lines are in fact saying exactly the same thing. They just look a little bit different. Now, you're not used to thinking of x and 3x which is the only difference between the two lines, I'll point out. You're not used to thinking of them as basically the same thing, but just looking different. You have to take a step back. There's a lot of context going around here. Okay? And the key is this guy over here. You know that plus C? The one you've just been used to writing out of habit because <clears throat> Mr. Wu told you, or there was a rule in the textbook, or you had your notes and you're like, I better put this thing, otherwise somewhere I'll lose a mark. That plus C means something. Please remind me again. Why do we put plus c here? A rhetorical question. Why is a simple one, I'll put it, make it even simpler. Why is a simple integral like this not equal to x squared? It's equal to x squared plus c. Why? Say it again, but louder, Russell. This question says, what function must I differentiate to end up back here? And the answer is there's a whole bunch of functions that I could have differentiated that would have given me 2x. And the word Russell used was there was a whole family of them, right? <clears throat> there's a whole family based on different values of c. Now please note that. 
C at this point could be anything, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one more line of working onto Williams just to make clear how it is that these two things are the same. Okay, I'm run out of space on the right hand side, left hand side, so I'm right over here. Use your minds and think with me about your log laws. Okay, two thirds outside of log. Now I can write log 3x in a different way using a log law. When there's a product in here, I can actually split this apart into two logs, can't I? What are the two logs going to be in this case? Log 3 plus log x. Do you agree? Right? And then what's, what else is hanging here? Uh, minus half x plus c. Is that okay? Now have a look again. What is the difference between this line and the line in the textbook? And now it looks different, doesn't it? This is the difference. What is that? Well, it's, uh, it's 2 thirds log 3. 2 thirds log 3. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it's a constant. Right? Do you see that? So what's the difference between this line and the one that Will has written, which I've just slightly adjusted here? The difference is, it's a different constant. I don't know what that constant is though, so I don't really care. It's just slightly different. If I wanted to, I could say plus c plus 1. It would just be a different constant. That's still the same answer. I wouldn't do that because it's more complicated. And that's the same reason why the textbook has written it like this, rather than like this. It's not wrong, it's just irrelevant, right? If it's part of the constant, then I might as well sign a, sort of like combine it, like ball it in with this constant. If I had, for instance, you know, plus five, plus six, minus pi, plus c. See that whole long string of things? I could just replace them with plus c, because it's just a different constant. Does that make sense? Now this will not be the only time that you encounter this. What could we have done a little bit differently over here in like the first couple of lines that would have taken us straight to this, the textbook's answer, which is simpler, slightly, um, rather than Will's answer, which took a little more work to get there? What could I have done first, slightly differently? Who got there first and got straight to the textbook's answer? Anyone? Say that again, Paul. Okay, simplify this line here. But I'm going to simplify it a little bit differently, right? See this 3 over 3x? It is f dash on f, but there's a simpler f dash on f that I could use in the same spot. I could replace this with 1 over x. It's still f dash on f, right? It's basically the simplest f dash on f that there is. So there's an overall principle here we've talked about before. You simplify if you can before you differentiate. You simplify if you can before you integrate. Does that make sense? Do you see how this, this is going to go straight there? No 3x involved. Are you happy with that? So if your answer disagrees with the textbook, don't panic right away. Look at it carefully. Logs are a little bit different. They play by slightly different rules. So that's why sometimes they look more different than they actually are.